Hi and welcome to My CTO Frame, the place where non-technical founders build successful startups by improving their tech management skills. I'm Amory and today I'm going to answer a question from Dominique, a startup founder who is about to launch a web platform with artificial intelligence. His question is, how can I evaluate a project manager for my startup? Indeed, building a startup with artificial intelligence is not something everyone can do, and leading this type of development requires a pretty high level of technical knowledge. That's why Dominique asked me how can he evaluate a project manager for this. It's hard to anticipate if someone's skills will fulfill the expectation, and especially when as a startup you don't have the technical skills internally to evaluate them. So to help you in that process, here is how to evaluate a good project manager. There are three main areas to evaluate. Let's start with the most easiest one. The soft skills. Before working with anyone, you need to make sure you are in a good fit. When it comes to building a startup, we often talk about constant self-reassessment, communications, flexibility, interpersonal skills, positive thinking, or stress management, accountability, work ethic, humility, etc. etc. I am not an HR consultant, but I like to trust my gut, getting a feel for people based on their simple behaviors. And then, the second area to evaluate is the market and product understanding. It's not possible to build a solution if you don't understand people's needs, period. That being said, it's a requirement to ask your prospective project manager to reformulate what he or she understands of the project. A great way to do this is to ask him or her to write down specifications, describing what the project should look like by interviewing the founder, which might be you in that case. In fact, the ability of a project manager to conduct interview, extract information from the project owner is key. It's not only a matter of getting detailed specifications or creating simple wireframes or describing what people are supposed to be doing on each screen of the application. The project manager is also here to highlight situations you never thought about before, like what happened if the user do this? Or what if the seller never reply? Or again, what if the user never gets the email? It's the project manager's duties to anticipate every possible scenario, while the business founders focus on the classical one. Some exceptions include unexpected questions about multiple usage of your solution, or security questions like what if someone creates thousands of accounts, or generates wrong transactions, or wrong comments. In general, if you have a good project manager in front of you, he or she will try to anticipate everything before the developer even asks for what to do in this situation. Then the last area to evaluate is obviously the technical evaluation. Of course, this will be more challenging without a tech background, but you can still do a good job by asking questions about previous experience with similar projects. For example, you can ask, what were the most challenging parts of building this project and how did you overcome them? Or, what type of basic report are you going to provide on a regular basis? Or as example, when it comes to building an artificial intelligence algorithm, specifically to reach these goals, can you explain me how it works? Or can you give me two or three solutions available to build them and what are the pros and cons of each? As I often say, asking people to teach you something you don't know is the best way to evaluate their own level as well as their soft skills. And to conclude, even without technical background, you can still have a pretty good insight of someone's skills, especially if they are a technical profile or a project manager, by asking them to teach you. And I highly recommend you to start working with a small contract, maybe just for a few hours, to ask someone maybe to write specifications and to allow you to really understand if they get it. And if, like Dominique, you have specific questions for your project, just go ahead and ask on mycityofriend.co slash ask. I will do my best to answer a question by video or to redirect you to existing content. And also be sure to go through other courses on mycityofriend.co to learn more from real startup growth experience. Waiting for your question, I look forward to seeing you in other videos. Cheers.